Does Meghan Markle get told no more than Kate Middleton? Meghan Markle's independent streak has been getting her turned down quite a bit at Buckingham Palace. Considering her average upbringing and Hollywood roots, it's no surprise that she marches to the beat of her own drum. But does the controversial Duchess really get shot down more than her sister in arms, Kate Middleton? The jury says, most likely. But let's take a look at Markle's recent troubles with adapting to the royal ropes. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry weren't allowed to have their own court. Since late last year, word on the grapevine was that Prince Harry and Prince William would be splitting up, their courts that is. There were plenty of feud rumors, so people couldn't help but fuel the fire. Well, as it turns out, the brothers are going their separate ways. But, the deal isn't as sweet as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had hoped. So what exactly did they ask for? They proposed to have 100% independence from the royal family. This would mean that their household wouldn't be connected to Buckingham Palace in any way, shape, or form. A source told the Sunday Times that Markle and Prince Harry's request fell on deaf ears. There was absolutely no way the Queen could allow such independence. It would enable the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to do whatever they want whenever they want. By keeping them under Buckingham Palace's jurisdiction, it ensures they won't ever go rogue. Now what that means in Buckingham Palace terms is up for debate, but the fact of the matter is it will keep the new house in check. The same source went on to say that the Sussex household requested total royal freedom. To be fair, that's a pretty big request, so it's no surprise that the Queen adamantly denied the proposal. While they haven't been able to separate from Buckingham Palace, they have been able to cut ties with Kensington Palace successfully. Prince Charles takes away Meghan Markle's tiara. This isn't the first time Markle has been mixed up in a tiara mess. Last year there were rumors that she threw a fit when she couldn't get her hands on a specific emerald tiara from the royal collection for her wedding. It added fuel to the hate fire surrounding the Duchess, but others didn't buy the story so easily. After all, for Markle to be able to choose a tiara would mean she would have looked into the royal collection on her own time. Highly unlikely, but not improbable. The newest tiara drama has to do with a Fiji trip that was made last October. The Prince of Wales told the former Suits star that she couldn't wear a tiara to her first overseas state dinner. He feared that a tiara would be perceived as too extravagant. One source told the Daily Mail, Meghan did not understand all of this because she was new to the role and so Prince Charles told her that it would not be appropriate. It was very kindly done. It seems innocent enough. Markle made a request and Prince Charles advised her on the matter to ensure she didn't overstep. Prince William doesn't give his blessing to this potential baby name. Being denied a lavish tiara and a world-changing exit from the royal family is understandable. But what about interfering in her baby name choices? It's no secret that the Duchess of Sussex looks up to Princess Diana. In fact, it's thought that if her mother-in-law had been alive, she definitely would have had Markle's back during a lot of her struggles. Sadly, it looks like the royal family wouldn't allow Markle the opportunity to honor Princess Di in one of the sweetest ways possible. While the gender of Little Sussex is unknown, Diana is a beautiful name that would be fit for a baby girl. There's a big downside though. The name carries a lot of baggage that would equate to Markle making another controversial move, one that would definitely impact her child's upbringing. That's not all though. Prince William would be furious if the name choice went through. He wanted to name his daughter, Princess Charlotte, after his late mother but opted out in respect for his father. In his eyes, since his father had remarried it would be taboo to make such a brazen nod to his late mom. Instead, he went with one of her middle names to pay homage. If Markle and Harry were to take the name, it would completely stomp all over his feelings. Considering the brothers aren't attached at the hip anymore. Prince Harry could very well toss his brother's feelings to the side in favor of his wife's desires. Even still, he would have to convince the Queen and that would definitely be an uphill battle.